Well, hi, and welcome to my shop. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning. I think I need some company this morning. So yesterday's video ended with me rather quickly extracting one of the IF transformers on the basis that it's got silver mica disease and the capacitors that are built into it have to be done away with, uh, removed something. So uh, <clears throat> yesterday after doing that work, uh, I spent most of my day regretting the fact that I pulled this out because uh, the kind of sound the radio is making is a sound that I've heard come from something like this, but I've also heard that sound come from a defective tube. I even mentioned it as I was working on it and then somehow that all slipped my mind. I got focused on this and ended up removing this. <clears throat> if the tube is the cause, of the problem if the vacuum tube is breaking down then wow I'm on my way to a lot of useless work here I've already done a bunch of it and potentially I, you know in fooling around with this I could ruin it darn it all the only way to know that this tube is the cause of the problem would be to put this all back in make it all back the way it was turn it on hear the sound pull the tube out put a replacement tube in hear the sound or not yeah exactly well, I think I'm a little ways down the road uh, for doing that because I got this out now. And there is a good chance that this is the cause and the tube is not the cause. And I, I can't think of any way to test the tube outside of the amplifier. If I, if I put it into a tube tester, I'm not sure that's going to reveal anything to do with the kind of problem that the tube might have been displaying. So where am I at? <clears throat> well, I think I need to get the situation made even more complicated, so I brought another radio in here. <laughs> Well, this radio, I thought for a minute, well, wait a minute, R rather than try to repair this, can't I find another one? And look at that. Exactly the same look anyway. So I think inside here is something obviously very similar to this. And is it similar enough that I can simply pop it out of here, pop it into the other radio? <clears throat> That's what I'm going to look at first. It's, it's kind of a long shot on a number of levels, not the least of which is that these could have silver mica problems in it, where the silver is traveling. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know. But it all sounds like fun. Now, these really seem to have come from the same manufacturer. And there's some numbers on them here. So this is a 119333, and this is a 501247. This is a 502, 50264. So these numbers aren't jiving. Oh, 50, 50C242, 502. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, the one thing we know. I don't even know this for sure, that, that this is a 455 kilohertz uh, transformer. Well, it almost certainly is. I mean, 99, uh, this vintage, 99% of these are going to be 455, so don't worry about that. Like, I, can, I can test this. I can test this for a resonance. It's possible. So I'm going to pull one of these out. Um, I'm going to guess they're both identical, but I don't even know that. Of course, they have different numbers on them, so they're not identical. I pull the tops off. I can do that right now. Pull the tops off. Let's see what we get. No, I can't pull the tops off. I have to pull the whole thing out. It's this way. Same as the last time. So red wire, it's got to be high voltage going right to this terminal. 
this has to be the primary side here, I would say, cut all the wires off it. side. Primary side has a big pile of stuff on it. High voltage on here. It's got a green dot. Green dot, same as this one. And a purple paint. These, these, I'm sure these came from the same manufacturer. Wow, this might be a better idea than I, I first thought. Okay, so let's compare them. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. Oh my gosh. Well, they're identical. Extremely similar. Certainly from the same manufacturer. Uh, green dot, green dot, and a pink. Hmm. Wow, I think this is ready to go right in. Do I'm going to put this back together. Oh, is there some particular way this goes? Let's go like that. That's the way it goes. Lots of excess stuff. Maybe I'm going to clean this up, put it in, wire it up, and then we're going to give it a try. Good luck to me. Okay, that's ready to go in. I took a little bit of time, watch my video that I shot to make sure I get this in the right way with the green dot, dotted corner up like that. I'm going to solder up all these leads. We're going to turn this radio on and we're going to find out if this made any sense doing this. Okay, I've got it installed there. Uh, all these solder connections are really pretty, pretty weak, pretty minimal, but should be good enough. I would expect. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's the last one here. Oh. Well, I think it's on there. It's not on there by much. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna resolder this one. I think it's just a strand or two holding it there. Oops. My hands are all sweaty again doing this. And I was asking myself, why, why are you so sweated up here? And I think it's because the 
combination of uh, a lot of hope and a lot of trepidation in combination. So I feel like there's a lot at stake, a lot at risk here. I just fix on a radio. I mean, there's there's, there's nothing at risk. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's my radio too. Okay, so I think that'll do. So I think we have everything in here now. Believe it or not. Okay. Let's let's give it a go. So the actual percentage I give this, uh, you know, on the hopeful side, I'm like 75% hopeful this will work, work well enough. On the realistic experience side, I'm like 5% hopeful. Now, is, is there a chance it's going to damage the radio in some way? Uh, that I've done something really dumb? Sure. <laughs> sure. Of course there's that chance. Plug is still safe. Now, let me hook up the outdoor antenna right now. So we don't go through that. Maybe I'll leave this off and we'll try. Oh my god, what pan? <laughs> right. Right. Um, so I think we just plunge this as far as it'll go. And I'm pretty sure that's... It's as far as it'll go this way. Because I have the radio upside down. From how I had it before. Pretty sure that's now on the AM band, band number 7. Of course, we did pick stuff up on shortwave too. So, but mainly, this is about does this radio work at all, or what does it do? Or does it still make that terrible popping sound? Okay, we're all set. Yes, the radio is switched on. The volume is like about thirty percent. Deep breath. Anything I should monitor to detect a serious problem that I can then bail out on. No. Here we are. Come on, radio. Okay, zero sound. Zero sound. Now we had voltage on the meter there. Zero sound. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that zero sound kind of deal here. Uh. I remember this is a higher trouble this way. Put it back like that. Check to make sure the speaker. Oh, you know what? I've got the speaker hooked up to this meter. Uh, the meter's still on. Oh, I left it on. Hmm. I guess the little pilot light is uh, not working for me. That's why I kept coming in my shop last night uh, uh, and going. It smells like there's a piece of equipment on in here, and then I'd check all the lights. No, there's nothing on. Okay, explains that. Now, I'm trying to distract myself from the sad situation here in front of me. Um, what, what, hey, let's hook up the antenna. Let's hook up the antenna. Because maybe it was just really quiet. And that's why we didn't hear anything. Okay, antenna hooked up. I think we're on band seven. Let's go again. Here we go. Okay, so volume is full. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Power on. Turn it up. Stick my ear. She's dead, dead, dead silent. Dead, dead, dead silence. Out of the pan, into the fire. What would make it that silent? would make it that silent. Oh, look at this. Huh. 
Okay, well we'll reattach that. That might make it dead silent, for sure. One wire off there. Okay, and where exactly? So I'm pretty sure the brown wire goes to this terminal, but pretty sure it's not going to do it. Um, so I'm going to check into that and just be absolutely sure. So what's happened here is I've, when I cut the wires that uh, had to be cut to, to take out the tuner, they all went back nicely except for this short brown one. Turns out it has no excess wire. So I tried tacking it on there, it's just not enough. So I have to put a little tiny extension just to, just to get uh, a little wee bit more wire here and make this a more secure connection so it doesn't come off again. Just, you know, silly little millimeter. Okay, so that brown lead was one of the heater supplies to a couple of the front end tubes. So those tubes had no heater supply at all. In fact, none of the tubes had any heater supply. I had an open circuit here. So I have closed it now. This time the radio is ready to operate or or not. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so volume up, you know, roughly halfway. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. we got sound. Not quite the sound I want, but good. That's good. Where's the crackling? Check that out. Sounds like a radio for crying out loud. I haven't even tuned this. Let's try another band. Okay, so if this is band seven, we could go to we could go one band, one band change, and uh, do, I, do I dare do this without operating? Why not? I gotta hold on to the chassis while I'm putting my fingers into it. Chicken. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> but I still hear what sounds like some AVC problem that it's just the rate has gone way up. I think I'm on the 11. I don't know. Doing some funny things there. So I'm not absolutely sure what band I'm on, frankly. So I, go, I think I'm here. Okay, one, two more. I'm just going to shut this out off. more. I'm guessing now I'm up here. Back on. Can I say back on? If, if a shortwave station comes in now, I mean, I'm floored. I got so many things here that are out of sorts. But it is doing something. That, that huffing is my uh, soldering iron. So it's receiving my soldering iron. <laughs> That's it. Oh! That's all the volume it's got. I heard it. I heard it. It's brother stare. Okay, we got something through the radio. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to call that a video right there. And I'm going to go away and think about this a little bit now. Um, how to approach whatever it is I need to do next to this radio. Uh, Got to get some volume out of it, that's for sure. But uh, not bad. 
I think I've overcome all the mistakes I've made and problems I've injected into the radio. Uh, probably not, actually. Great. Okay, let's call this a video. Maybe this will be a shorty. Thanks for watching.